you know, don't listen to anyone. Everybody's scared. You know, everyone tells you how things worked out, but it worked out for you that way. Mm. Don't listen to anyone mm-hmm. because their experience is, is unique to who they are. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then a lot of people will try to put their fears on you. You can't do that. No, you can't do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so they just project and they're putting things that they don't believe that they can do on you. And you may possibly do it. Like my uncle telling me, like, I'm never going to. My uncle said I never sell a million records. Mm-hmm. I sold a million records like a million times. You know, so he, he was, I'm sure he, I'm his nephew. I know he, I, I don't think he meant any malice. He wanted think, the he best just, for you, but he, he just, just was didn't projecting believe. his fears right. and things that, like, are you crazy? How are you going to do that? How? You know, I'm, I'm sure there's things that I do now that he, he can't believe that I was able to accomplish. But he couldn't even see it at the time. Mm. Yeah. So he was just projecting, putting his fears on me. So the whole thing is just, you know. And always believe you're great, even before anybody else believes it. I had a bunch of friends that were either barbers or cosmetologists that didn't make it, that didn't stick in the industry and ended up doing something else. And they had varying reasons why it didn't work out for them. It was either the money, the schedule, you know, they weren't making enough money. They didn't like the establishment they worked at. They just said it wasn't for them. And it was alarming how many people I knew that had got into the industry and had got out right away. I only knew like two or three people that stuck with it. And for whatever reason, I never asked those people why they stuck with it. But I was real quick to listen to the negativity. And I assumed that the reasons that my friends and you know teammates and classmates or whatever, I took their failures as my own. When they told me that they weren't making any money, I said, damn, I probably ain't going to make no money. When they told me that they didn't like it, I thought, damn, I probably won't like it. When they told me that they weren't, weren't, you know, comfortable or happy or whatever, I assumed that that was going to be my fate. And that was a, that was a huge mistake because if I would have known then what I know now, I would have dropped out of high school and got my GED and, and became a barber. But don't let other people's experiences trump your own opportunity don't let other people tell you why you won't be successful based on their failures don't don't take don't take other people's word for it you have to experience life for yourself you cannot live vicariously through other people you can't take someone's word for it about an establishment about a career hell even about a person you can't let a person's experience with another person shape how you experience that person i don't care if your best friend tells you i don't like this person You have to know for yourself if you and that person are on the same wavelength. You can't let somebody tell you this industry ain't for you. You can't let somebody tell you an establishment ain't for you. If you ain't never experienced it, don't take their experience as your own. 